give the better matchup towards the, the Lucian in the top side, towards Xiao Hu in the top side. So we could end up seeing some of that again, because something that Naruto does struggle with is that range advantage, but we'll have to see exactly what way it is when we actually get in towards the game state, although... I'm looking on the left-hand side. It looks like they're going to do the same, potentially the same again. Nah, okay, they do swap. But look, you've got a pretty favorable matchup here. We get some here. kind of shenanigans from PP God as well, whether we see a super early roam up towards the top half of the map. We'll have to wait and see. I don't want to set false expectations. So we're expecting our junglers to be pathing Reverse. towards. Looks like way, He's way. Gonna... He's back it yeah, off. It... It's not going to be even, though. Crying, he only has to manage his health bars, Renekton. Whereas, Mo, you have to manage... Oh, out, he's getting dived. Xiao Hu goes for the solo kill. He's tanked the tower for way too long. I, I, that is a questionable decision, but hey, I like the pizzazz. Wait, hey, you get the, basically for it. This at the armor, he's gonna go towards Turbo Chem Tank. Then we get the Dead Man's Plate, and he's a speedy old boy. Although, oh, hang on, Mole's flashing in. They're going straight on towards Wei, who's flashed out at the fray, and he's damn quick. So he will be able to escape from this one as Crane tries to chase this down. In the meantime, Xiao Hu, Audi's found himself some revenge on this. Not, I don't know how it happened, but he grabs himself the solo kill. Well, Wei is gonna be able to at very least trade a scuttle crab for it as Shao and Audi are just going at it. This is starting to feel personal, Doug. This is starting to feel like a little <laughs> yeah. bit of grudge match. Wei wants to dive this top side, a crashing, a reasonably big wave in, but Audi is on the cusp of Meganar here. L look at Crying though. Crying already getting out of range of ball. He's starting to move up top side, and Audi, the second he sees that, is like, no, I've seen this before. Trying I know what's shots onto Wei Wei. Not landing any just yet, and the Herald is smited away. RNG get the Herald. Meganar isn't going to be found, though. 1-4 one one, start the fight. Round warp out of this one. V5 are retreating, but they're snoozing while they warp. They've managed to get away with it with a 1-4 one one trade, but RNG get the Herald. That is a massive win for RNG. Maybe so thinking that they don't want to do it while Mole has that TP available. Well, he's going to find a sleep. Onto PP God here as Ming is ready to follow up the Slumber Slam. Is there? PP God is damn tanky. And now he goes straight in. Narl onto everybody. Huge fight for V5 started off. But actually, their health bars are going down. Jin getting shots in, but doesn't do any damage. His way flashes out of this one. Audi trying to chase things up. He's in mini Nar as Wei gets the stun. Crying goes down. Wei trying to gallop away. He's there. The deer and the cow trying to escape through the woods, but the bear is chasing them down. So is the weird yodel creature. Keep I don't know. All this extra gold, but V5 are in position to fight back. Ooh. Audi got to take a bit of a back scratcher there but won't go down. However, the big difference in that fight was Y4's position. For Y4 at RNG have a 100% win rate when they get the first tower. V5 get the first tower 91% of the time but now they're looking for a team fight as well. Teleport comes in and RNG looking good in this one as PP got forced to flash out. The curtain call is just going to be soaked up mostly by Ming here. V5 opt out of the play. They're still hovering here. Like, this is this is the problem that I have with V5, all right? Actually, hold on. Oh, here we go. Solar Flare in. They're trying to get onto Wei, but he's got a Zonyas. And now they're calling shredding through this squad. V5 gets so damn low. And the Renekton from Crying just slicing through everybody. This is beautiful from RNG. And it feels like V5, they just don't have the damage in these fights. This is the problem with V5. This is why I love to hate V5. Because... Oh. <laughs> they'll go for these early rift arrow plays if they don't work out they don't know what to do like they're playing a split push composition we just said hey you get that first dragon all they're giving right. is crying an opportunity to push at spot wave i mean they get the engage here There's but the threat got going on to big apparently pp got has gone way too deep solar flare completely with and now there's a TP from Audi who's jumped onto the robot. That was actually clean. That was real nice from Audi and Mole. it doesn't matter they still lose the fight but hey it was nice yeah. Five side, and your flash is now gone on mo. That's a two for one summoner trade that they made. Both flashes, and Shahu still has his TP, as you just said. Now, RNG can take anything they want. They're even taking these red buffs. PP God gonna be knocked up. <laughs> he doesn't even get to use his eclipse, doesn't even get to be the tank. He just gets shredded. And when your tank is that squishy, uh, it's not a good sign, Dagda. RNG get to just move over towards the Baron. Yeah, they'll be able to absolutely shred this and still be able to fight towards this dragon that's about to spawn in 30 seconds as well. But this is the, you're just too far gone at this stage. V5 have dug themselves a hole and now they're desperately trying to get out. All right. 
V5. Last ditch attempt here. Audi's turning into Mega Nar. Maybe there's an opportunity. Doesn't even go into the pit though. They're just going to fight after the Baron has gone down. I feel like this is not the play. V5. Way is on the backside and he's swinging his shillelagh around. The double 80 carries come up big. 13 to 6. And this is clean from RNG. Had a lead and have a better composition for it. It just. It's upsetting to see V5 when I know how many fans have such high hopes for this team. I feel like a, a huge portion of this loss is down to things like the rise pick as well, that realistically you don't want to be fighting in the end. You don't want to be in these skirmishes when that's the bread and butter for V5. That They want to be fighting for that first hero. Here we go, though. Onto the tower. RNG want to end this one. They want to put the final nail in the coffin. Apparently it's Weiwei's coffin as he's the first one to go down. The round warp comes on through but it's not gonna happen third in hit falls this is gonna be game here as rng push in one last time last ditch attempt here for v5 three versus five and uh, i think that might be two in just a moment as mole's gone golden but he's gone down as well this sleep comes through onto audi the root as well as gala finally gets a bit of action for himself he's shredded them on the fountain and they're gonna shred this nexus down a 27 minute clean comfortable dominating win from rng and this is exactly what i love to see whenever i watch rng on this